Hello. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to view the state of a switch by establishing serial communication with the MSP430 Launchpad and the serial monitor in Energia. For this example, we can use the Launchpad by itself by utilizing the onboard push button, or we can use an external circuit with a push button and a pull-up resistor connected to the Launchpad. We will show you how to set up both. For the external push button, connect three wires to the Launchpad board. Red and black connect to the two long vertical rows on the side of the breadboard to provide access to the three volt supply and ground. The third blue wire goes from digital pin 5 to one leg of the push button. That same leg of the button connects through a pull-up resistor. The other leg of the button connects to ground. Push buttons or switches connect two points in a circuit. When the push button is unpressed, there is no connection between the two legs of the push button, so the pin is connected to VCC through the pull-up resistor and reads as high or 1. When the button is pressed, it makes a connection between its two legs connecting the pin to ground so the pin reads as low or 0. Now let's go over the code for the onboard push button. First setup is to initialize our variable push button to set it to digital pin 5. In the setup loop, we begin serial communication with the launchpad through the function serial.begin, which sets the baud rate to 9600 bits of data per second. We then enable our push button as an input with a pull-up resistor through the pin mode function. In the main loop of the code, we declare another variable named button state equal to the digital reading we get from the push button. Through the serial.println function, we will print the output of the button state to the serial monitor. Finally, we will add a little delay to make the reading of the serial monitor easy. After we compile and program the launchpad, we can open up the serial monitor to see the state of the button. When the button is not pressed, we see a constant string of 1. We press the button, the output to the serial monitor is 0. The code utilizing the external push button is almost exactly the same. The only difference is in the pin mode function, we only need to declare our push button as an input without the pull-up resistor since we have it connected to, on our breadboard. We can see with the external push button, the serial monitor reads exactly the same as before. And that's it. Now you know how to set up serial communication with the MSP430 launchpad and read the state of a push button both onboard and external.